when it comes to choosing a career between mobile app development or web development, most people kind of get confused actually because they don't actually know the difference between them or what to choose as a career path or as a new skill to learn. So guys, in this video, I'm actually going to talk about web development or mobile app development. Stay tuned, and it's coming up right now. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you need to view the channel, please hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell button to get notified when I upload or release new videos like this. So without further ado, let's get to the video. First of all, who is a web developer? We all know web developer is someone responsible for coding, designing, and uh, operating web applications, keeping in mind the requirements of for the client or the person you're creating or either a website or web application for. Um, yes, uh, so inside, I think inside our web development, we actually have two main parts, two or actually three. Uh, so we all have the front end developers or the back end developers. The front end developers uh, actually deal with the designing layout or let's say the user interface of a, a website or web application. The back end is actually the opposite. He is a person who works in the back of the website. <laughs> actually, the back end developer is some actually works on the server side who takes care of all the functions of the website which is going on in the back end which you don't actually see like take for example the javascript side of me right now so actually back end so this is the front end which actually is the UMC and the back end is website that's actually where the back end developer works in um, then who is a mobile developer? a mobile developer makes applications for mobile devices of different sorts of, of different platforms, two most popular platforms. They only have two platforms the Android app platform and the iOS platform. Um, one major thing in my Android mobile app develop, I say in our mobile app development is actually we have the native apps or the hybrid apps. Native apps are actually like apps which are made for a specific platform. Like now we have Android apps, um, just by language like Java or Kotlin. Uh, Java Kotlin and Swift or just a C for iOS. So these are native. Those are language I made for like used to create native apps that are specific to uh, specific to God help me specific to uh, an Android platform. So for Java applications, they're more specific to the Android platform, and for iOS, it's for Swift or uh, just C, they're more specific to the iOS platform. So what actually I actually want to tell you guys is consider when actually choosing either to go for well development or uh, mobile development you actually want to check what actually goes in and like what you need to know about this too my first um, tip or advice that I want to give guys is if you want to look at the level of difficulty whether web development or mobile app development for web development I actually say level of difficulty is not that very high but I'll say very the skill set is very versatile for web development, but for app development, the difficulty is a bit, I can't say very hard, my experience is a bit hard because we're going to learn how to use different, different tools and we are working on two different platforms, except we are going for hybrid development such as um, technologies as Flutter or creating hybrid applications or maybe React Native, um, Ionic and I think the others out here. So I want to check out the level of difficulty. Also, I want to also look at the career scope. Like in career scope for web development, the career, the market demand for web developers is actually very high. I would, I would say very, very high and very popular these days since years to come. So I want to look at look out for that because in most tech companies like Microsoft, Amazon, mm, Facebook, and rest, web web developers the demand for them is really really high. But also, we actually have a very large competition in the market, which is mobile app development. Mobile well, development, in my perspective, not in my perspective, you can check out um, going to Glassdoor, you can see the salaries of a mobile app developer. He gets paid like $6,000 annually per year. And this is just like an average salary, it also differs from different companies. You can actually check them, but you can see, uh, um, you can see, uh, Extreme IT people take on about sixty-nine thousand to sixty-four thousand dollars. Microsoft fifty-nine to sixty-four k. Uh, Microsoft pays actually very high for mobile mobile app developers. One hundred fifty thousand, one hundred fifty-three thousand dollars to one hundred sixty-five. So it varies for different tech companies. You find this, but the demand for mobile app developers in my is much more higher 
and it's re increased rapidly than web workers. We actually have more web workers in my, in, yeah, and literally, I actually have more web workers than mobile app developers. So, that can be very really high because most more more people go into mobile app development. And also, I want to look at the level um, of versatility. When I mean level of versatility, what goes into this to tech and um, perspective? For web, web development, actually, see web development is more versatile than mobile app development. Why? Because you have to learn a lot of things. If you are going for front end, you have to learn your own basic and uh, CSS, CSS, um, JavaScript, um, and you also have the most popular like using Vue.js, React, is Angular. That the bootstrap, those are like CSS kind of like frameworks we use to start your pages. You have to learn uh, materialize foundation, so much more. You have to learn how to use uh, APIs. Um, uh, probably you have to, um, have, and you have to choose where you want to actually work in as a web developer. Because actually have two main aspects: the front end developer, the back end. So if you want someone like actually creating layouts, UIs, and like starting pages, you actually want to go for the front end development. If you're just saying work on the server side of um continue what goes into the website and what goes out, you actually have to work on the server um the back end developments. It's not using language like um Python, which have a framework like Django, uh, Flask, or only use um Ruby and Rails there, PHP, Node.js, there's so many more. So that's actually one um reason actually say okay, what will make more versatile than Apple is still very stable, but it depends on what platform you're going for. If you're going for iOS, you don't want to use like Swift. Swift is the most popular for iOS development and other tools out there. But you can compare it to web development. So, web development to me is my best, more versatile than app development. Another perspective I want to try to look at, guys, is I have to talk about the salaries. Salaries of web development. If I want you to enter web development or mobile development as a career path, I want to take me down on the salaries. Being paid to this different tech career path, so you can see for mobile developer, they actually last usually for $96,000. The average are going to Glassdoor, but the difference with different, different tech companies, I showed you Microsoft will be up to about 100, 150 something K. You can see ATT is paying 63 to 70. You can see it differs a lot, but the demand for development is very, very high. And in my perspective, you want to go for actually what you like. Don't let anybody force you to go for what you don't like. What do you want to do? You can try try the two. Like me, I, I actually started programming, learning web development, then from learning Python, JavaScript. Then I have to move my way up to learning uh, mobile development. Right now, I'm in creating projects, developing apps using Flutter. I love using Flutter. It's for it's a tech for uh, creating hybrid application. We can run both on the Android device or the iOS device. So. Flutter are very nice. Actually, React, not only Flutter, to React Native is still very, very okay. You can check out React Native, it does the same thing. Create hybrid application for both Android, Android platform and iOS platform. Then, for, I think for native native apps, actually, other languages, and they actually, the new one most popular is Kotlin. Kotlin is a modern program that makes developers happier, open source forever. You can actually check out Kotlin, or you want to still keep on using your the, the, the old language, Java, which is very popular. You can also use Ionic. Ionic is actually a framework for creating mobile applications. I th yeah, I think it's it's a hybrid. Yeah, it's a hybrid mobile application uh, framework for creating for for both the Android and iOS platform. Then um, web development and mobile development. If I to choose one, pick one actually. That's a very tough call for me. Specifically, if I had to pick one for myself, I think I actually go for app development I want to say why that's my crash I love web development I love it I love the new web I love pretty but app it's my perfect it's more fun to me web is very very fun to me like that feeling of you creating an app and you see it on your phone when you have eyes you get up and I, I made this stuff I did this app and you see it on your phone you use it you see your friends use it every day it's it gives me it's the feeling to me is actually very it's priceless it's 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 ecstatic I'm telling you guys and one advantage of um, app development is that most companies and most big big business models are trying to, trying to um, phase from web app development to mobile app development because it's more interactive to the customers and clients and it's more easier for them to access. Most web applications you need some internet internet connection to use them. But most um, applications you just need to onto your phone and it's been updated and you can get new in use and info on that app. So you guys can actually drop down your comments below on which one you prefer. 
when I put the mobile agreement or whatever broke it. So guys, that's my actually call. And again, guys, if you want to start app development, you can check out check out when Flutter. Flutter is very good for you guys to know as an app developer. And you can currently check out the new website.com. Website.com is going to some free courses. Hashtag free April. This video is not sponsored by Flutter site. I'm just telling you guys because I'm really excited this account. So try this month of April. Um, the CEO Aaron Skirnard, if I said that, well, shares why we are making all 7,000 plus expert led video courses and the most free for the month of April. So they're giving us 7,000 plus expert courses for free on Twitter site. So go ahead and create an account and start learning all the courses they have to offer, all for free. It's not sponsored, the video is not sponsored. Not, there's no affiliate link down in the description, down, description box down below, guys. So I just want to give that heads up, guys. So go get on to the Twitter site. Start learning for free guys and then guys see next video and I'm signing out. Blah 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 blah.